Development of ductal elements in breast cancer is dependent on female hormone estrogen. Estrogen increases proliferation rate of epithelial cells of breast parenchyma. Increased proliferation leads to increased accumulation of genetic defects called mutations. Mutations increases chances of conversion of any cell in breast into malignant cell. Hence indirectly estrogen exposure increases chances of malignancy. Longer the exposure, more the chance in one's lifetime. Breast cancer cells can be hormone positive or hormone receptor negative. If we talk about hormone receptor positive breast cancer cell, then estrogen receptor is nuclear receptor. Estrogen binds to these receptors and then these receptors undergo change in conformation called dimerization. It is basically activation of cascade, which leads to influence on certain genes responsive to these cascades. Hence these genes, which can be regulated by estrogen receptor, are appropriately called estrogen responsive elements. One of these genes a progesterone receptor gene. As a part of treatment, action of estrogen on breast cancer cells needs to be stopped. One way is to block the production of estrogen. Second is to inhibit receptor activation by inhibiting crucial step called dimerization. And third is to inhibit agonist action of ER receptor on genes. Estrogen is produced from androgen with help of several enzymes. One of crucial enzyme is aromatase. In premenopausal women, ovaries are the main source of estrogen and in postmenopausal, fat and adrenal are main sources, albeit in small amount. In premenopausal women, Estrogen level is regulated by pituitary gland by follicular stimulating hormone. Release of FSH is again regulated by estrogen level through feedback inhibition. Decreased estrogen level will lead to increase FSH. Breast cancer which are hormone positive either express estrogen receptor or progesterone receptor. Production of estrogen is inhibited by aromatase inhibitors, like letrozole and astrazole, examastain. They decrease estrogen levels in blood. However, in premenopausal women, decreased estrogen leads to increase FSH level in blood which stimulates ovary to increase production of estrogen. Hence effect of aromatase inhibitors is overcome. But if ovaries are removed, then aromatase inhibitors can be given this is called ovarian function suppression, OFS. So if aromatase inhibitors are to be prescribed to premenopausal women, then ovarian function suppression must be done either by surgically removing ovaries by lateral oophorectomy or by ovarian radiation which destroys ovary. In postmenopausal women, aromatase inhibitors can be given alone. Those drugs which inhibit estrogen receptor dimerization are in true sense estrogen receptor antagonist. They are called selective estrogen receptor down regulator. Those drugs which inhibit estrogen receptor dimerization are in true sense estrogen receptor antagonist. Estrogen binds to receptor but no activation occurs. Example Fulvestrant. SERM selective estrogen receptor modulator, as name suggests. Binds to receptor but changes its conformation in different ways such that it starts inhibiting hormone positive breast cancer cells rather than feeding them. Hence the term modulator, as receptor is functioning but in different way. After modulation, however, serm can have agonist action on some tissues like uterus, bone, pituitary just like estrogen. Uterine stimulation leads to important side effects of endometrial hyperplasia which can also lead to cancer endometrium. As earlier said increased proliferation leads to more mutations and more chances of cancer. Agonist action on bones leads to beneficial effect of increased bone density. Example of SERM are tamoxifen and raloxifene. Hormonal therapy in breast cancer are aromatase inhibitors. They are oral tablets, combined with ovarian function suppression in premenopausal lady. It is given for 5 years, and main side effect is musculoskeletal, myalgia, osteoporosis. SERM is given for 10 years in oral form, 
given alone at all age. It increases bone density but has uterine side effects. SERDR first line drug but injectable form. They are effective in tamoxifen resistant cases. Hormone positive breast cancer can be classified based on positivity of estrogen and progesterone receptor. Best response to hormonal drug is present if breast cancer is both ER and PR receptor positive as response to hormonal drug are more. Hence best prognosis. Least response to hormonal drug is in tumors which are only PR positive.